preach, that means God's going to do something special. So in the quiet stillness for just a few minutes, I'm going to give you an opportunity to testify. I want to give the Lord ample opportunity to do whatever He wants to do in this place tonight. So we're going to wait on God for a minute. stand up and thank the Lord for for putting me in my place when I need to put my faith show his love because to me that's if he didn't care about us he wouldn't get a hold of us and jerk us back in life mm -hmm. and I just pray that he never stops Yanking me back in love. I just pray that he never stops taking me out to the woodshed, giving me a good whooping when I need to. And I just pray that he always keeps his hand on me and disciplines me when I need to be. Because I know that shows me that he loves me. Amen. And I want to thank him too for giving me a husband that I have. Oh, on some things I want to go right and he says no that's not the way to be and he kept me like that and in between him and God they're keeping me straight and I just want to thank him because I have no idea where I would be if it wasn't for God or where I would end up if it wasn't for the husband that he sent my way and allowing me, allowing me of all the women that he has created, allowing me to have the privilege to marry him, a man that pull, has pulled me. I know it's shame to say, but there's been times where I'm like, I just don't feel like going to church. And he's like, no, come on, come on. And he pulled me in here. And I'm thankful for that. Amen. I am thankful for that. I just want to thank the Lord for his, um, his grace and his mercy yes. that he gives us each day. You know, he's never failed us. Look at all the times that we let him down. But through all the sins that we commit and all, his grace and mercy covers them all. Amen. So I just want to thank you for that. Thank you for saving me. I want to thank him that I have a pastor that we go and go and go. <laughs> we always going somewhere, going to a revival, supporting the other churches. So anytime y'all get a chance to go support another church, do that. They need it, just like we need it. Look at all the support we got last night. Even though it wasn't a church function, it's like a revival type thing. Community came out and supported us. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and they do know we're here. So uh, anyway, I just want to thank the Lord for those things. When you're going through the fire, you don't realize what blessing you're going to get from it. And I went through a lot of fires in my life, but God put me right where he wanted me to be. And he's done so much in my life the last few years, and I just want to thank him and praise him for never giving up on me. Thank my family for never giving up on me. Thank my church for keep praying for me no matter what I did and where I went. Y'all's prayers. And I just want to thank God that no matter what I've done or did in my life, He put me where I needed to be. He scolded me. He, he done what needed to be done to get me where He wanted me. And I feel, I know that I'm where I'm at now because God put me through that fire. He twisted me. He molded me. And He had, you know, a lot of help getting me here. But you know what? I just want to thank Him and praise Him for what He's doing and what He's going to continue to do. In my life, not in my life, in this church a huge, huge, huge church here and I just want to thank God for y'all, for the faithful ones, for the ones that come and that do and participate. I mean, y'all just don't know. It, it is a blessing, not just to me, but to other people. Amen. You 
know, last night I got the biggest blessing. I was talking to the people that brought Brandy. And she was telling me, she said, Brandy begged and begged and begged. Come to my church. Come to my church. Come to my church. Now listen, Brandy lives in a home. She can't go. Do you know what? She didn't. Yeah, that is what, if she can do it, then we should be able to do it. Amen. And you know what? That just blessed my heart because she told me, she said, when Brandy got, didn't get to come to church, she said, I had to sit and find y'all on YouTube. She said, Brandy got <laughs> sick until I found her preacher that she could listen to. <laughs> and you know what? If we were more like that, just think what a blessing we could be to others. That if we love Jesus, she did. Yeah. And she does. She does. And she loves this church. And you can tell she loves this church. And what she does, what she can. And God's going to reward that. And you know, if she can do it, I think, you know what? I thought to myself, I said, Lord, I need to be better. I get out and I go to work and I see people every day. She she just, she does what she can. You know, I just thank God for her Amen. and what her influence and what she's been in her life. I just want to say I thank the Lord for these kids here. It's, you know, I was coming up from junior church and I seen a little crunched up goldfish in the floor and the Lord turned me around and said, look at that. That's the future of your church. Amen. If I can say anything to you seniors, adults, please don't get mad at these kids for crunched up goldfish. They are the future of our church. And without them, we don't exist. And I just want to thank the Lord because I want them to see us excited about the Lord and serving the Lord. And that's why I've been decorating these classrooms. And that's why I've been trying to get things done. Because if we're not excited, they're not going to be excited. And we have to make sure that they see us excited about the Lord. Because that's the reason why that we do things is for Him. And that's the, the one thing that the little kids can see is, oh my gosh, look at these decorations. That may not mean some to some people, but if the kids see all that color down there and all that excitement, they're going to want to come. They're going to want to come. So I want to thank the Lord for our children at Webb's. Mm -hmm. They mean a lot to me. Amen. I'll speak on what April was talking about. Last night was the first time that home's been here as a whole. Yeah. First time. And uh, so this morning when we go, went to pick her up, you know, they got people that work in shifts. So the worker that I guess came in first thing this morning, first thing she asked me was, where did all them cakes come from? <laughs> <laughs> because half of them won cakes or cupcakes or took some home something. <laughs> and there was two of them in the living room and she said, one's mine and this one's mine. And I said, that came from the church. But because I get to see them every Sunday, y'all truly don't know what this church and what y'all done as a church done for them. But in return, what they do for everybody else. I mean, a lot of people don't give those that type of group, any kind of right. love, effort, or anything. But we here at Webb Chapel do. Mm -hmm. And they see that. They they feel that. I mean, they all went through the maze. <laughs> and it took them a little bit longer to get through the maze, but they made it through the maze. They played all the games. And they just kept, I mean, they all talked about it this morning. And, of course, they all gave me a hug and, you know, well, when, when was the next one? <laughs> I said, well, if something comes up, I said, I will be sure to tell y'all again because last Sunday, like I said, they not ever came as a whole. Wow. So I told the lady at work, because I don't know who works what days or what not, but they put it on the calendar, they put it on the fridge, and those workers, those, those workers were just as excited as the residents. <laughs> 
because the workers played as well. <laughs> so, you know, I, I, I personally just I, I appreciate what everybody, everybody done last night. As far as those people. I've got something to say, but I probably start crying about it. <laughs> we we got a loving church here. Sometimes we have some grumbles, we grumble about, but we do have a loving church here, and we care about, y'all have, love me, this month makes 10 years, and I appreciate coming to this church, and y'all showing me the love, and Shelby the love, she started when she was four, coming to this church. So, uh, she's still stubborn as ever. <laughs> <laughs> she gets out of it but I just appreciate everyone being so nice and loving and I thought we got to show others that we love and care for them too and we just got to have a great heart for all the ones that's around us Amen. appreciate David you're a good preacher I mean, you, you say it like it is you get a little bit excited up here we we need a little bit we need to get stirred up too right, and, yeah. but I appreciate everything Rose she's a good lady appreciate her help and She's got all of my youngest now because they're growing up on me. <laughs> I miss them. I know. I just want to say thank y'all for loving me and appreciate all the love that I get. Amen. 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 What I was going to say uh, after Jason talked about the home and branding and them, uh, those people are the kind of people that Jesus would have went after. Yeah. That's right. He ain't going after rich folk. Mm -hmm. He's going after those that can't take care of themselves. Yeah. You say, well, who is that? That's the children in the community that have broken homes, mm -hmm. that are being beat at home, that are not being fed at home. You say, why do you want to feed them gold for that very reason? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's very important that we take care. Because Jesus said, suffer not the little children to come unto me. That's where Jesus' heart was, and that's where our heart ought to be. That's why we have fall festivals and, and things like that, because that's the crowd that Jesus wants us to reach. We have this mindset and I'm not saying that specifically for our church, but I'm saying Christians in general have this mindset that we're going to go out and we're going to get all the rich people because they can tithe and they can do this. That ain't ministry, y'all. Mm -mm. That ain't ministry. I'm going to shut up and let the Lord do what he wants to do. Anybody else tonight? Yeah, I want to thank the Lord for saving me. And that was the last six months or so. I went through a whole lot, but I know the Lord been with me the whole time. I might tell you too many, but I could never, I have to stand up because he says that we ashamed of him here, he'd be ashamed of us by So, and I just want y'all to pray for me that I'd always be what God would want me to be. And I, and I won't tell y'all that I love y'all. And uh, this is the only church I've ever went to. So, and I thank the Lord for it and for uh, the people, for David, for you, and every, everybody. But it just, uh, you know, with what I went through with, it was time. I felt like I'd just given up. Yeah. I mean, it just seemed like one thing and another. But I'm still here. Amen. But I ain't yeah. through. He's not through with me. So, I know that now, and I can never thank the Lord for this woman here. She she has been my right hand, and I mean your right hand. This time since I broke my right arm, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, and I can say I've been blessed more than I could ever thank the Lord for. Like I stand here 24 hours, seven days a week. Mm. It wouldn't be enough to thank you for what he's done. But if I just pray, and I know what, like what's going on now. It's, uh, I, I don't think it's going to be long until Jesus comes to get mm -hmm. I mean, if you read Matthew 24, that's what I tell people. And I tell you, I was talking to a guy the other day, and he was talking. And... Uh, and we started talking about the men marrying men, women marrying women. And I said, it, God says it's an abomination Amen. It's against him. He said, but I think God's going to, after a little while, he's going to give in to that. I said, no, and boy, he got me started. <laughs> and I said, when he won't even stand for an I not to be dotted or a T, which is cross. 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 he's not 
I'm not put up with that. <laughs> I mean, but it kind of got me. But the thing that we live in a world where people think that, but the trouble is they're not reading the Bible. And that's uh, and I I'm, I'm guilty myself. I should be reading it a whole lot more than I do. But the Father of God don't let you read the stuff. So. I, I, I'm not preaching tonight. You know, <laughs> God's already but preached anyway, to us. But I, I just want y'all to know that I love you all. And if, if I can help you anyway, just call on me. And I'll try to be here. Anybody else tonight? <laughs> Hold on, Miss Merle Chandler. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's more to say that talks about time. It's been a long time ago. And I thank you for everything. And you know, I wasn't in church when I first got to say I was in a hole. And I was in a church when I was the first man. And I started crying profusely. <laughs> and I knew the Lord was going to hurt my man. But that next Sunday I cut the church and I went down and sat up. And I know he saved me. And I know without a doubt I've been saved. I know that I know that I know. Amen. Amen. Miss Merle, not right now, but to close us out, have you got a song with you? Yeah. Will you sing to close us out? Not yet. The Lord ain't done yet, but just get that ready. Go ahead, Brother Jimmy. I was just saying what you was talking about earlier, about these things that we do, like the Fall Festival last night. We make an impact. This church makes an impact on this community. Amen. I was on that hayride with some of the kids, yeah. and he looked at me and said, you remember me? Well, you naturally out do good with names. I remember faces, but I don't remember. I said, yeah, I do. And it come back to little Lucas who was here. Doing, I said, baby, yes. Well, he said, yeah. 
And uh, you know, I thought, you know, we don't see them like that. We don't right. see them light on Sunday. We were still reaching them, and they remember. Yeah. They will remember us, and we don't remember them. So we're still giving them Jesus Amen. and reaching them to a point that they'll remember what happens here. Like I said, it may not be on Sunday, but even through these events, they will come out and be a part, and they remember it. And so, you know, like I said, that's the ones God reaches, I believe, from these broken homes and, you know, from these ones that, you know, not the perfect household or whatever. God still loves them and he wants them. Amen. I just want to let, let you know, we are doing something out there in this community. Bella and Jackson that got saved during vacation Bible school, they were running around yesterday out there too. There they run up to me and they said, hey, preacher, how are you? And I said, Bella and Jackson, good to see y'all. <laughs> we went and visited them right after they come and for two or three weeks straight, mm -hmm. and they haven't come, but they were here yesterday. God That's knows right. God knows the need there. That's right. I'll tell you one thing that I'm praying for. This ain't argument. argument of, I'm just telling you what I'm praying for. If y'all want to pray with me, those of you that want it, I've been praying that the Lord will give us a free van. Yeah. That's what I want. We're going to take that free van. I would like to go out in the community and pick boys and girls up, bring them into church. Free van, I said. God can do it. Amen. God can do it. It's free. We ain't got to vote on it anyway. Amen. So, uh, free van is what I'm specifically praying for. A nice free van. Mm -hmm. Y'all pray with Pray with me on that. Anybody else got a word on the heart? Preacher, I'd like to thank the Lord for saving me. He saved me right there on that outside of that door right there. The truck wasn't on this church in. Granny Wilson was passing out. And I thank the Lord every day for it. And uh, if anybody needs any work done around the house, Merle, you don't need to be on that shed. <laughs> Maybe you can ask to wash dishes. I'll send Shirley right over. <laughs> 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 you a mess. I can't do with you. I When you can ask anyone that's on the recreation community when we have, especially the fall festival, we get tired. Um, especially, you know, ones we get up early, you know, and, you know, early, early. I mean, before, sometimes before the rooster even thinks about waking up. We are already up and on the road heading to work. And, you know, we work long hours. So when we're doing, doing this, you know, it'll get us sometimes and we just, we're about to give out. But every one of us can tell you, we just tell ourselves, you know, it's for the Lord, it's for the kids. And we get a second win, yeah. and we can do it. Yesterday, when we were doing the fishing game, which was a big hit, we we were surprised how much joy was on these kids. Like some of them, they thought this was the best thing they've ever done, you know. And we just realized, I mean, right out the gate, that this was a good pick for a game. So here I, you know, here, you know. I'm running on fumes, and, you know, the Lord will send some, you know, energy to me, and I'll keep going. And, and I was like, then the, then the balls. I had to lean down, squat down, get the balls. Well, you know, when you get older, <laughs> and you pack a little heavy <laughs> these days, going down and coming up just ain't quite as easy as what you used to when you was in your 20s and carried the weight that was given to you to begin with. So... I went down to get her, and there was this blonde-headed girl, and I believe I will always remember her. She come walking up, teeny tiny, come walking up. And I told her, I said, get a little closer to the table. And she threw the ball, and it hit and went down my feet. So I said, here I go again, right back down. <laughs> so I threw it down, and when I turned to look at her, she had her hands up, and she was just glowing and just so excited. And I locked eyes with her. And I was like, Lord, give us more strength because I'm willing to go as long as you need us to. And I will be, I don't care 
how tired I am, I'm going to do this because that little girl's face told me that that was the best thing of the night. She was having so much fun. Amen. Amen. And I'm not saying this, y'all. I mean this for the rest of the night. It was nothing for me to bend down and stand back up. <laughs> and yeah, if I allow myself, I think of my body, but if, as soon as I focused on the kids and while we were doing it in the Lord, I could have went all night. Now I may crash later <laughs> and not be able to get back up. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna say for a few days, let's say a couple weeks, but for that smile and those eyes, that was what it was all about. That's right. And I'm I'm not a I'm not a kid person. Like Jake said, <coughs> we can be out and about and I can be in front of him and the kid will literally lean sideways to look around me to look at Jason because they know I'm not fun. <laughs> I'm not fun. I will make you mine. I'm warden, so they have nothing to do with me because they know I will make them mine. But this one here, oh, this is just all barrels of fun and let's go at it. But this little girl looked at me and I was thought to myself, thank you, Lord, for allowing me to have that moment with her. And I don't know, she may never, ever remember me. I know them eyes and that smile, I will always remember. And you can't tell me that that was not a blessing from God. Yeah. I would like to say something about Jason too. I'd find time through that door to see my friend. But it was sweet and kind of her. So I heard he didn't just open the door and let her in and come on back to me. So I received it. Came back and got her a book. And he really takes care of her. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a blessing. Amen. Yeah. And also, our table last night saw the same thing that she saw. The man that comes here, the, I don't know his name, he has dark hair, he's got the one daughter. Uh, Johnny, Johnny Bustler. Right. Yeah. She, she was just like that. She was so excited. Mm -hmm. that Abigail. She was yeah. through it through mm -hmm. there. Oh, man. And they were as happy as she was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Miss Jean, did you see Miss Linda? You know the one we visited? She came to the fall festival. I seen her doing the cakewalk. I said, Miss Linda? You know we went to go visit her like three times. She did. She came and she brought the grandbabies. Yeah. Uh huh. I got to see her and I, I knew it was the Lord working that one out. Yeah. Going soul winning, I'm telling you, it makes a difference. Inviting people and being persistent. Just because you get a no the first time, don't mean you get a no a second time. It's persistency is what counts. Yeah. She did. She had fun too. Uh -huh. Anybody else? I'd like to thank everybody for sharing. I wasn't here last night, but it was such a blessing to hear all of you. So when the Lord lays it on your heart to say something, go ahead and say it. It might be a blessing to somebody else. To share your blessings with other people. And I thank God for the ones that will stand up for you. <coughs> Amen. Anybody else? I think the kids like the donuts just pulling them off the screen. Jeannie will tell you. We had to hold the string for them because it was so young. And they were on chairs. And we would hold it just for them to bite it off. And they'd get one side bit and they said, no hands. The other side would fall off. On the ground, they'd be like, oh, like, oh, like our donut's gone. Five second rule. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, right. We say, touch it. Grab it with your hands. Grab it with your hands. <laughs> Miss Merle, you go ahead and get ready. And when she's getting ready, anybody else tonight got a word on the heart as she's walking up here? Preacher, I challenge everybody in the church to count your blessings. Count them one by one. You'll be counting them until you go to your grave. Amen. He has blessed us all. 
yeah. in a mighty, mighty way. Yeah. They bless people at Red Chapel Church, and we take it for granted. Yeah. But he is in charge of everything. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not in charge. The preacher's not in charge. Right. Jimmy's not in charge. Yeah. God Almighty is in charge. Amen. 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 And, uh, That's right. I just challenge everybody to go count your blessings. You, you, you won't go to sleep tonight. Amen. 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 <clears throat> All right, Mr. Will you sing for us?